against Denver. They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Prescott steps away to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's Prescott. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. Now it's Lucky Whitehead on the return. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw Let's things go. up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives, exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful. They've got his man complete. And he's brought down after a good game. 26 yards on the pick up there. And it'll be first down, Cowboys. Prescott now from the 50. Flushed out right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come out here in the eye. They'll run with Elliott. And he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant from six yards away. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small. Score. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Now a play fake here on first down. On the left side, he finds Beasley. He won't go down. <laughs> back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Here we go. Here we go. One man in the backfield, Elliott. Prescott to throw it. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Prescott now. This will be caught just inside the 10. 
And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Cole Beasley, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus. He's got it at the 15. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year and the Davises and the Gardens get together, that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And they're going to speed things up here. Here we go! Second down, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Look at that. He's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Justin Duran able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here we go. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. <laughs> and this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They go to Elliott again. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long, no matter what they've done on offense. This offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. Now Elliott fighting through. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Barry Church, the strong safety, the one to get him down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Prescott from the gun on third. Finding time. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Taking it about the 16. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people are nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. A second down throw for Prescott. Surveying the field. Now a desperation throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be marked down deep in Dallas territory. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swaim, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. You have to control the guy playing over the nose in order to run the ball up the middle against a 3-4, and they did that very well on that play. And that hurts the linebackers because what they're counting on, especially the guys in the middle, is that nose taking on two, sometimes three blockers, eating those guys up and allowing the linebackers to run free and make a play. But when they control the nose, it allows other guys to get upfield to that second level and block the linebackers, and now the running back's got some room to run. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. They get 25 yards out of that one. And the Cowboys are going to get a first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.
three chains. Ow. Caught up in my, put your head on back. 